What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. Yeah. Today. I want to talk about this album right here. Mad Child's latest album called Dope Sick. This dude, Mad Child, um, he's a member of the Canadian rap group called Swollen Members. And Swollen Members have been around for a while now. Um, sad to say, I never really followed them like that. You know, I've heard of them and I've heard tracks from them. But I never really followed them like that. Not because they were whack, you know, they just, I just never gravitated towards them for some reason. And, um, this guy, Mad Child, uh, was coming out with this album and people kept talking about it. And I just said, fuck it, you know what? What have I got to lose? Let me check out this dude, Mad Child's album. And, um, I was impressed. I really, really, really enjoyed the album. <clears throat> and this is Mad Child's first album where he's uh, off drugs and um, any type of um, crazy ass, you know, addictive pleasures. And um, yeah, it was. It's good to hear uh, that someone that um, has some type of addiction like that it is finally free of that shit and can, can concentrate on their work fully. Um, but you know how I feel. A lot of, uh, a lot of uh, artists that I like put out their best work when they were fucked up. So I gotta go back now and get some of, previous, some of Mad Child's previous shit and listen to that to compare it to. But um, I enjoyed this album. For the moment, I really enjoyed this album. Um, <clears throat> don't really know what else to say about it. Um, I, other than the obvious, y'all know how I do my reviews. I do like the artwork. I do appreciate it. Um, fold out artwork. CD case, whatever you want to call it. Um, this shows, actually from the artwork, it shows that Mad Child is very into uh, comic books, which is a plus with me because I'm a big comic book fan. Um, the insert is a fold out. You know, a lot of a lot of MCs are doing this nowadays, making the inserts a fucking poster and shit. But um, yeah, let me get into the people who produced this shit and some of the features as well. Production on this album is handled mostly by my boy C Lance who does a few tracks on here. Shout out C Lance. It was nice chopping it up with you. Hopefully we could do it again in the future. Um, we got Rob the Viking who is um, one of the uh, members of Solar Members. Uh, let's see, there's a few other guys out here. Aspect, Evidence from Dilated Peoples, Zool Man. Let me see here if there's anyone else. I know there was one. But, um, Chin, there we go, Chin, that's another producer, and what's this guy's name, he's also a feature too, um, Matt Brevner, um, beat wise, for the most part, I do like the album, a lot of the beats go hard, um, some tracks, the beats are 
a little bit less energetic. Some just, I feel, don't belong, but I'll get into that later. Um, but for the most part, hard-hitting beats, dope fucking beats. Um, so yeah, that's as far as the beats go. Um, features on the album, you have DJ Revolution, you have Slain from La Coca Nostra and Special Teams. You have Prevail, who is another MC in Solar Members. You have Dilated Peoples, Bishop Lamont, Decisive, Dutch Robinson, Matt Brevner, I mentioned him already, Sophia Denai, I guess that's how you say her last name, and Phil the Agony from uh, Strong Arm Steady. There's 16 tracks on here. A lot of these features are together on the same track, so um, there's not a lot of features spread out that I like, you know. Um, there's a, a bunch of them uh, on these tracks as posse cuts, like uh, track 7, Battle Axes, Dilated Peoples, Bishop Lamont, and Decisive. And um, Slain and Prevail on track two called Grenade Launcher. So, um, you know, a bunch of MCs are together on single tracks, and that's cool. I just don't like when they're all over the fucking place. So, um, yeah, these, these uh, guys do their thing. No one really questionable in the feature category. They all do their thing and complement the album well. So, that's all I gotta say about the features. Now, I'm gonna get into the content and a few songs on the album. Um, Mad Child's content on this album doesn't really go, you know, too far outside the realm of going in on a track, if you know what I'm saying. Like, a lot of these tracks, he's just riding the beat. And, um, yo, this dude could really ride a beat like no other. Like, he, he really adapts to to whatever flow he's on and um, whatever uh, beat he's on excuse me his flow adapts to whatever beat he's on and um, mostly he's just talking about how ill he is uh, as a rapper uh, Mad Child came from the battle rap scene um, in the early to mid 90's and um, you know it, it's it's not gonna be uh, a surprise that um He's going to have tracks like that on this album. But um, the one thing I am glad uh, for is he can actually write a track, you know, because I've said this before, a lot of battle rappers get cursed with the um, with, with, with uh, the, the stigma that they that they can't write a song. But Mad Child can write songs. He, he, he does it somewhat on here. Um, he doesn't really go too far out, like I said, writing a, a shitload of uh, conceptual tracks, but he's got a few on here. There's 16 tracks on here, most of which, like I said, he goes in on. Love the way the album starts out with Devil's Rejects, and um, love DJ Revolution's cuts. That just fucking, that was a dope way to start the album. Uh, continues with his momentum on Grenade Launcher, then uh, track 3, the single Monster. Um, if y'all haven't seen the video, I post a link down there. Go check out that video, Monster. Um, the track is basically, he's saying he's lyrically, uh, um, lyrically ill, uh, lyrically a monster. And um, if you look at the imagery on the video, um, it's just fucking funny as hell. Like he's a zombie. And um, him and his boys are going around eating motherfuckers and shit. Um, track six, I'll talk about that. Wake up. This is probably uh, one of the deepest tracks, if not, yeah, I'll say it's the deepest track on here where he's talking about his uh, demons that he recently conquered. Um, like I mentioned before, him used used to. Uh, using drugs and used to being fucked up and shit and um, he's talking about how he used to get fucked up before he used to go out on stage and perform and everything and 
he's basically over that now. So, uh, congratulations, Mad Child. Um, what else do I like on here? Battle Axe was dope. That's a posse cut. I mentioned that shit before. Um, track 9, I really love. Um, that track stood out. It's called Little Monster Blend. Um, it stood out to me. Not only because of the content, but uh, the production as well. Um, Mad Child uh, had the beats switch up for each of his verses. And he's talking about how he was banned from America when he came through customs. Um, and he believes it's because he's guilty by association. Uh, track The second verse is basically um, talking about uh, how... He's not guilty of shit, and um, you know uh, he shouldn't be guilty by association and shit like that. Um, a lot of the rest of the tracks are just him going in. Um, a track, some of the tracks I didn't really care for were like uh, "Dickhead," track eleven, "Dickhead." Um, that track is very simple. Compared to the rest of the shit on this album, it's very, very simple. Uh, beat was simple. Rhymes were um, rhymes were sort of simple, simplistic. The concept itself is simple. Um, I just felt that he could have came very differently, just judging by his delivery and and his uh, aggressiveness on the mic. I felt he could have made that song better, and the beat should have been totally different on that shit. It was just like. I could see that being played on 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 a fucking uh, Z100 or some you know like one of these stupid ass uh, stations that want that safe hip hop or that, that the main the commercial hip hop. I could see that being played on there. But um, what else? I mean, um, Jitters was okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Runaway was cool. Uh, Mongoloid, but um, yeah, for the most part, I really I, I enjoyed the album, and um, yeah, that's about it. My rating is coming the fuck up. My rating of this album, I'll give it like a seven out of ten. I feel that's a safe uh, number right now. Um, definitely, if you're a fan of Mad Child or Swollen Members, you probably heard this anyway, and you probably like it. Um, I'm going to go back and check out um, some of the shit that he's released in the past, along with Swollen Members shit. So, um, anybody that's a big fan of Swollen Members or Mad Child, um, leave some comments down there. Let me know what to start with, what you think is Mad Child's best album or Solar Member's best album, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there, but um, shout out to my nigga Mad Child, solid album, everybody else, y'all know the deal, leave your love, leave your hate, most of all subscribe, and that's it, these bitches. Last five years got lost in the matrix Now I need a whole set of teeth and a facelift Most kids want rings and a bracelet A mortal demigod wanna learn